Hello, hello. Welcome to another fresh episode of Tea with Tay. Today, we have a fantastic guest in the building. He's a superstar rapper, a video director in his own right, and an all-round creative. His name is Emeka Akemefule. Did I get it right? <laughs> I don't even know the correct pronunciation, so it's either Akumefule or Ikeme. <laughs> Like, the Igbo people, the real Igbo guys, like, when I go to the East, they always make it look like I'm pronouncing the wrong thing. So right. I'm not sure which one is the correct thing. Even my dad changed his own son name. So I'm the only one bearing this name. And maybe wow. the people in Nigeria. So I probably just changed it to something easy to pronounce. Like maybe, maybe, Aku. Oh, Aki. Just Aki. Just Aki. Aki. Mm. Aki. Aki. Okay, like Nathan Aki. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Emeka Aki. Mm. Emeka Ike, Emeka Aki. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, guys. That's, this is okay. Black Bones in the building. Please put your hands together for my guest. The most hilarious rapper out of Nigeria. My brother, how you doing now? I'm calm, my G. What's happening? Black Bones. Why Black Bones? Of all the names to choose. I mean, I know that you, know the, you, don't, you don't know the real pronunciation of your surname, but Black Bones is something that you chose yourself. Why? I stole it, you know. It was my friend's name. Stop. I'm serious. His <laughs> name was Black Bones. And he, he wasn't using it for anything. The guy was just... He just he liked rap, so he gave himself a rap name. He wasn't even rapping. He wasn't doing anything. So I, one day, I just said, bro, you know they use this name. I like him. Um, and that's how I started being Black Bones. Stop it. I swear. Sorry, when what what year was this? Were you still were you still young? Like were you in school? I was in school then. Yeah. So you sat down with your guy and said, you know what? This is your new way they use. You know they use and well. Might just yeah. collect them. Yeah. And the guy gave it to you. Yeah. He is calling himself Black Lotario now. It's still a useless name because. Ah! He's not using it for anything. <laughs> you are an idiot, this boy. <laughs> he's not using it. So, but I mean, you have gone, you've taken the name, you have, you, you ran with it, and you have made something yes, out of it. Uh, does anybody know that he's black bones? If I, if I didn't, don't tell you, no, no, no. You have done well, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is so interesting. Uh, so, your musical, your music career started in OAU, back in OAU. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me of. about that, that time. OAU, man, when I got into OAU, everybody told me this is a serious school. Mm. There's no space for entertainment. Just to read your books. Blah, 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 blah. But unfortunately for them, <laughs> that set of people that entered is like, I don't know if you watch anime at yeah. all. So there's this um, show called One Piece, right? Mm -hmm. So there's this group of guys that came to, to, to look for the treasure or something. At the same time, they called them the worst generation. So all of them were, ju were just crazy at the same mm -hmm. time and they came at the same time. So that all you said was like the same thing set of like crazy people came in the same two year span. Right. Like me, what set was boy, this? Um, um like twenty twenty twelve or twenty yeah, twenty right. twelve there about. Me, Fireboy, Yemoli, Ashake, Chinkoe Kun. Like, we're like a lot of guys that just came. So, oh, you had not seen that influx of... Oh, all of you were in the same school? Yeah, the same school. Must have been at the same time. And we came in and left at the same time. So, well, like, you guys it was... went in 2012 yeah. and finished at the same time? Yeah. What was, what, I mean, what was it like in school? I mean, were, there, were you guys already singing? You were already uh, a rapper. Bro, we're, we're stars in our own right, too, in school. We're all stars in our mm. own right, yeah. Except Fireboy. Nobody knew Fireboy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew that, bro. Wait, 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 <laughs> we wait, wait, knew wait, him wait. as artists. You I know how artists, artists, no artists. No artists, no artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we knew, knew Fireboy, but... But he didn't blow before you guys. How did, how did you guys feel when he blew before you guys? <laughs> he was like... Oh, Where bro, did you come from? <laughs> bro. <laughs> but, like, we all knew that he was, like... It was that guy that everybody knew was immensely talented. We knew. We just felt it wasn't serious enough mm. at that time. So we knew that if he took it seriously, it was going to pop. Yeah. So that's how Fireball was. Okay, so um, your your music, I mean, you talk about um, um, things that happened back in school, like your recent song, Back in yeah. Uni, right? And there's a bit where you said um, your girlfriend, if she knew the things that you did to her, like you did that dirty. What were the dirty yeah. things that you did to her? I'm really curious. <laughs> That's it, is, so. Mm. But my memory is so is so shitty. But like, I know I was like a really terrible guy back in school, you know. Like I had this phase that I I feel like I had not understood myself then, mm -hmm. you know, the way I understand myself now. So it was like, 
when somebody tells me they like me, that's the moment that I shut down. I shut down. You feel me? Yeah, so like I would do everything, you know, profess all this shit, and as soon as you you are down with it, I'm out. You get so like even when I try to be in there. I'm just you know moving reckless because I don't care about the person anymore. So like I didn't understand why, you know, and I was still trying to force myself into orthodox relationships. But so guys, let me tell you about something amazing. Afri Change. Afri Change is a reliable platform for people living in Canada to send money to Nigeria. With the Afri Change app, you can literally send money to your friends and family within minutes. You can also send money from Nigeria to Canada. And the interesting thing about Afri Change is that you don't need to go to the bank or have a domiciliary account. It comes straight to your local account. I know that mommy came in, I want to send Kemi money that is studying medicine in Canada. Or your uncle that has been in Canada for 20 years, I want to send you money for Christmas. It has never been this easy. All you have to do is to use my promo code TWT and you get 5% on the exchange rate on your first transaction. And you can also make money from referring your friends to this app. So what are you waiting for? Download the AfriChange app and you just can make money now, now. And send me money too. Send your family members money using my promo code TWT. Oh yeah, back to the show. Do you think it's a trauma response? Because I think Maybe I had that a, issue for, for the the for most of my life, right? It's the you like the person when they are hard to get. Once yeah, they become yeah. easy to get you, yeah. Is it a trauma response though? Probably is. Probably right. is. We're gonna to come to that, but I want to, I want to come. I want to talk about the music. How it started for you? Were you always? Do you always knew you were gonna be a singer? Were you probably singing in church at the time, or how did this start? Or did you just get into school and said, you know what? I think I should be a rapper. Nah, so funny enough, I always hated my church choir. Like, <laughs> I used to think, like, what the, are they singing? The choir is for people that can sing. But the pastor thought the choir is for people that want to sing. You see? <sighs> like, to, for me, there's a difference. Oh, these people want to use their voice to worship God. Mm. But I believe that you are supposed to use good voice, so, you know, to lead the choir. So that we can be in the spirit more. Like if, if yeah. somebody is singing, the person needs to be on some notes. You need to be feeling the goosebumps. Mm, mm. Not somebody off key and is how can you lead me to, to the Lord? You can't lead so me. To I had Christ. no idea I could sing at that time. When I was hitting on the choir, maybe mm. I could have <laughs> I yeah, could go have gone to join this. them and you know help their life. But um I didn't know all the world till I, you know, going to school. Even in school, I didn't know I could sing. I was like rapping, rapping, rapping. You know, and then I added some parts to it. But I started rapping because, like, I was challenged by my cousin. Mm. You know, I used to criticize people and, like, I was a, I was a rough fan back in the day. Also, like, wait, wait, wait. You were not a lot. singer. You just no. a critique who thought you could do it better than your cousin. Everybody, yeah. I thought, like, I thought nothing was difficult. Like, whatever you're doing, like, if I decide to do it, I'll do it better. That's what I thought. So that's how I started rapping. Somebody showed me this guy's rapping. I'm like... Rap is not that hard. I'm going to go upstairs and I rap. <laughs> <laughs> so wait. And that's how I started rapping. Your career started as a bet with your yes. guy that, you know what, I can do this thing. Yes, it's not hard. What they are doing is not hard. Black Bones, you are really crazy. I love it. <laughs> no, but when you started off, were you as great or you, did you just get I don't into know. it? Nobody knows because, you know, mm. I feel like one weird thing is about, in, about music is that no matter how work you are, your family thinks you are good. Like, I, I don't know if it's genuine, or it's like if you if you play any song mm. for your mom, she's mm. gonna think it's mad. I mean your your son, she has to you show feel love. Me? like your yeah. sisters, they will all think, mm. Oh, nice. Mm. Wow, you can you did this. You recorded this? You, mm. you feel me? So I don't know if I was work then. But, I mean, but based on my steez, I'm sure I was always fire. No, because bad boy. you had gotten some notoriety in, in OAU, right? It mm. means that you must have been good. Where they yeah, that was before. That was before. That was right. the, the, the the year that I took the jam lesson. Right. The year that I yeah, go into just before I go into OAU. That's when I started rapping. Okay, so were you were you always in Lugoshan and Yeah, I was. So you decided to go to OAU as opposed to maybe Unilag and Yeah. Why? So, you know, like, my mouth is very sharp. Like, I'm a very, you know... Troublesome. Troublesome person. So I had to find a school that there was no cultism, in, you know, so I can curse, curse niggas out properly. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so I found a way you, I did my research. No, I initially wanted to go to uni, Ben. Imagine ah, what the would have die. happened to me. <laughs> now, they will hang your body for gate. <laughs> really? So, yeah, that's how I... 
I got OA. So, but in in OA, you were like, what kind of personality did you have? Were you always the, everybody's guy, or were you the guy that used to get into trouble for saying things that people thought about but never said? Yeah, I used to be, bro. Like, I was reckless. I used to make these tracks every every like, bro. Lil Cash came to the show, came to do a show in OAU. Mm. As soon as he, he stepped on stage, as soon as he finished performing, got home by 6 a.m. the next morning, I dropped a Lil Cash diss track because I wasn't impressed with his performance. You know, <laughs> The next time, I definitely gold came, and it was the same thing. By 6 a.m., I dropped a diss track. On Are Instagram. you mad? Dropped a diss track for Banks. Dropped a diss track for my VC. Don't, ah! play <laughs> <laughs> don't play with me. Like, wait, 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 wait. I know that you're crazy, but like when you're doing these things, where is it just for cruise or do you actually feel like this about this? This so I need niggas to know that you you fucking up, bro. I gotta let you know. I gotta let you know in my raps. Okay, so I'm I'm really curious. What what is your creative process like? Because beyond just music, you're a, a proper creative, right? Yeah. I mean seen your new music video, things that you put out. Like, what is your typical creative process like? Are you always maybe by alone and thinking, mm, maybe I should add this, maybe I should do this? What, what is it like usually for you? That's basically it too. Like, I'm just thinking, like, ideas just pop into my head and I'm always very, like, open to when these ideas come. I jot them down. I'm like, mm. okay, I like this, I like that. Because I believe that whatever it is, I can add something to it, you know, Whatever I feel that I find myself, I feel like I can add something creative mm. to it. So I just keep my mind open at all times. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Um, so like I've I've been watching your work over time, and I feel like you're a big advocate for sex over love, hard guy vibes. Or did somebody hurt you? Or where did this resolve come from? That you know what? Fuck these people. I'm gonna just do sex over love. I'm gonna be this guy, hard guy. Is it? Was did somebody do something to you, or this has just been your person since beginning? Uh so for me, it's not like I don't really get hurt per se because I'm not so emotional. But like I've been just disappointed a bunch of times. You feel me? Like, is this from constant disappointment? This lack of emotions? No, I've always just not been an emotional. But I think person. Like all of us are wired in a way that we're all emotional. But no, then we're emotional. But like I'm not, I'm not easily moved by like things that move people a lot. Like, I'm not I'm not as in love with people as people pretend to be. Like, oh, oh, this person's my... I wake up, I think of this person, I sleep, I think of... Like, I've never been that guy, right? So, but even as the type of guy that I am, I've seen so much, you know, happen around me. So many different babes, different friends that have gone through different shit. Mm. It's one thing for you to love the people that, that are around you, right? But it's one mm. thing to say, you know, this particular babe, mm. she makes me feel a different way from the other people that I've been with. Mm. I really want to spend time. I really want to invest in this relationship. Don't you get to a point in your in your life where you're just really honest with yourself and you say, and you say that, I'm not all the people I'm sleeping with. Mm. This particular babe makes me happier and I want to make, take this thing seriously. Do you ever get there? Seriously, it doesn't mean I should stop having sex with the other people. Jesus I'm... Christ. Yes, no. <laughs> I'll take I'll take a girl seriously, but like it means that you are like up mm. there. But it doesn't mean there's nobody else, you know. There's for you to be number one, mm -hmm. it means that there, really... there's number two, three, four, five, six. If not, there's no point in saying there's number one. So speaking about the music, right? There's a story I heard about you when <clears throat> I think you had been booked for a show for some reason. They, mm. they didn't want you to perform. And at some point, your fans started shouting because they really oh, okay, like you. Okay. tell me about that story. No, I wasn't booked. I was just, it was, you know, as a hustling artist, I was trying to, you know, get a chance to, to you know, mm -hmm. showcase my talent, you know, and that was Unilag. So the... This was post-uni for you? Yeah. No, was it post? No, I was still in uni then. Okay. So, uh... I was trying to perform. I was backstage, and they were like, uh, "You can't go next after this guy. Mm. You go next after this guy." You know but like geez. you know, those those pieces, but it never, mm. it never got to my turn. You know, and uh, it looked like I wasn't gonna perform. And then you know, Terry the rap man. I don't know. You know, Terry the rap man. Yeah. Yeah. So he got on stage and he called me on stage with him. So as soon as he called me, like the crowd went crazy. Oh, you already had fan base. Fans, in you feel me? What like, year was you know, this? 
I have no idea what year it was. This was before the you blue blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I already had fans. You know, like school students, yes, they knew me as yes, this troublesome yes. guy in school. Mm. I used to just do wild shit. Mm. So everybody was screaming. You know, when I go on stage and I looked back at the guy that didn't want me to perform, I looked at the organizer and like, bro, can you can you see this shit? You know, like that look. The guy was stunned. Like mm. because for the first time that night, it was just a bunch of upcoming guys coming on stage. So right. it was the first time they heard people scream like that. Mm. So the guy was looking at me like, who the hell is this guy? Mm. And why are these guys screaming? You know, so it was actually like interesting. Yeah. yeah that's why I love going to, you know, like. Um, so now with the music, I mean like you are sent to Chocolate City, the music is doing well. You have a new video. In fact, that video I think is one of the most brilliant things that I've seen in a minute, right? Um, I was following up the conversation before the video. I think you had reached out to one of the superstar yeah, yeah. video directors. Yeah. And the money was too much for you. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of money. So, and you decided, you just woke up and decided to shoot your own shit. What so, inspired the compilation of different videos? So, actually, like, I'd always wanted to, you know, direct my own video. Like, mm-hmm. I've always thought about it, you know. Because I feel like I have a lot of ideas in my head. Right. You know, and I feel like unless I decide to, you know, do my own thing, these ideas won't come out. So, you know, that particular idea, I honestly have no idea, you know, when. Most times I don't know, I can't remember when these ideas come. But, like, mm-hmm. as soon as they come, I write them down. So, I don't know what inspired me to do it, but I just wrote it down. I have, like, four music video ideas. You know, I'll be shooting them for my album. Mm. That's kind of, you know, how, you know, things are for me. It just pops mm-hmm. up. And, you know, when I had the idea, I just knew that it's like everyone's going to go crazy for this. Mm-hmm. You know, so I just, you know, called called up Perlix. And, you know, we started working on making sure that everything was perfect. I wanted to do more. I wanted one specific thing that I wanted to show everybody was, I feel like I want a video that I watch every 10 seconds something is happening that didn't, hasn't happened before in the video. Speaking of touring and making show um, and booking shows, right? I think like this is the best place that the music industry has ever been in Nigeria. Artists, they've gone to open the creative industry out to the world. Like you guys are doing amazing. Like what do you think about, like what do you think the future of music can be in the next 10 years? Because we see a lot of foreign collaborations with people. You guys are booked out. You you, you guys are even closing out or mm-hmm. closing out halls in or sh- or stadiums in foreign places. Like, where's this future of music going? Do you think that you guys are going to be even bigger than the Hollywood stars? Are you guys going to... What's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen in the next 10 years, maybe? Oh, uh, it's very possible, you know. Like, there's no limit, in my opinion. You know, like, mm. Afrobeat guys are going to compete for, for like, the the biggest prizes. You know? Right. We're already doing that, you know, right now. So, you know, who's to say in the future, you know, we'll be, Afrobeat won't, won't be as big a genre as any. Mm. You know, so I think we 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 are moving strategically, and you know we are not stopping. Like the pressure mm. is like getting worse. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, mm. It'd be crazy. Do you like the reception from your audience? What has it been so far? Are you excited about it? Are you even looking forward to dropping more projects because of the reception from this one? Yeah, you know, <laughs> like I've loved it. You know, you know, ever since you know back in uni drops you know like my fan base has been crazy my fans you know show me the most love i even feel like i have a a stronger fan base than like a lot of you know mid guys just because you know i feel like i've cultivated it that you know i've i've been i can i relate to who they are like i'm not i'm not some celebrity that's not too far away from yeah yeah, i'm just I'm, i'm a normal guy that has like you know a lot of fans so yeah Amazing. Speaking of the love for the music and your fans, do you think that your sound has ev- not necessarily changed, but just evolved over time to be more commercial? Because I think that you were probably core core rapper who would yeah. just about the lyrics and everything. Yeah, there was a time like I was also about bars and punchlines and all this stuff, you know. Mm. But you know, like I feel like evolution is a part of life. Like you have to evolve. Like I'm, mm. I hate doing the same thing, you know, like two times, three times. I like I like to come with something else. So it's like punchlines feel like to me it got to a point where nothing was new. 
you know, like like a bread in the oven, I'm hot bread or other other shit, you know, like a stone in the sky. Other shit became bullshit. Like, you know, normal guys on the mm. street can, you know, like Come on Twitter can just say, yeah. you know, like uh, everybody could do that. So I, f- I figured I had to bring something else to the table, and you know, like melodic rap became like a thing, you know. So you know, I I evolved into you know being able to you know, add melodies to my music, you know, figure out the way to get to people that I naturally wouldn't get to, Mm. you know, the people that would not listen to rap at all. So, yeah, yeah, I had to evolve too. I'm I'm curious about the competition in the industry. For some of you guys, it's healthy, and I imagine that there's also unhealthy competition. When an industry, or you guys are in an industry where Every other day, there's a new hit. There's a, there's even more demand. There's social media. TikTok is blowing up songs. And is there any pressure on you to just not necessarily compete, just stay above water? You know, me no bless, I know drop body of work. Does that force you to want to work harder? Or you are just saying, I will take this thing at my own pace. I'm going to do this because I'm a creative. Or the market is actually forcing everybody to work harder? I think I'm one of those guys that just takes it at his, at his own pace because I believe that... Hmm. I genuinely believe I'm not a pop star. And these guys, you know, the rate at which they churn out stuff. Why do you keep saying that? Stuff. Because if I don't realize that, I'll be chasing my tail. You know, imagine trying to be be, be the next... Try, imagine trying to be um, a Joe Boy, you know, or right. uh, 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 Anomaly, or Ashake, or, mm. you know, like, all the guys that bring this, like, mega hit song yeah. from Kiss Daniel, Whiskey, David... Brother. For me, it's like I'm different, you know. I'm different, so I have to take my time to do what I'm doing. You know, I can't let the industry pressures make me, right? You know, move wrong. You feel me? I rather take my time. I know that every time I come, I come correct. You know, rather than just coming and coming and coming and coming. You know, like these other guys. To me, I feel like they have. Making pop songs and you know everyday music is like bread and butter for them. Mm-hmm. And me, I'm trying to pass this, you know, like sometimes I think I'm an oversabi. You feel me? Like I want to pass this deep message, mm. you know, like I want to say this and say that and say this. So mm. at the end of the day, I need to take my time and choose the best song to go with first, mm. you know, because not all my songs are like singles and stuff. So I take my time. I don't let the industry pressure. I don't see anything as as competition per se, because I feel like people always say that my uh, their competition is themselves, you know. But like for me, it actually is because I care about like where I was before versus where I really am right now. Because nobody's like me in the industry. Like if Very you look true. at the top ten in 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 Nigeria, you know, my song is the one different song in my opinion. Like it's like everything mm-hmm. is party, everything is. But my song is that one song that just sounds like, mm. you know, what's this guy doing, you know, here? It's different. It's different. And that's who I always want to be. How do you feel to be here now after all this hard work that you've put in from from OAU to the times when they didn't really believe you or rate you like in Unilag? And now you finally put in all the work and this is where you are. What does it do to your esteem? How do you feel about where you are now? I feel I feel really good, you know. Like sometimes I take moments out to to appreciate where I am, you know. Feel good about the fact that you know I made it this far, you know. To me, it's not like it's not being to think like someone like me will make it, you know, this far, like mm. a rapper type guy, you know, in this climate, <laughs> you know, to be this Stuff where I am here. is is is, is interesting. Mm. Like I, I I think about it, I'm like. Oh, Nice, nice. Yeah. You do this one. Well done. You've done really well. I mean, I mean, I know that human wit is your thing, so should you be expecting any acting, any yeah, yeah, content yeah, yeah, yeah. creation? Yeah, but I just of... I just think, you know, kudos to actors. You know, I think they have the hardest job. It is hard. You know, mm-hmm. like I can't imagine being on set. Like I hate music videos. I hate shooting music videos. As much as I have ideas, like True. I don't... I like it so much. Like, True. imagine being shooting the whole day, then not tell me how to shoot the whole week, sometimes a whole month. Mm. Oh. It's a lot. So, like, I want to go into, like, you know, movies and mm. stuff, but, like, I'm dreading the stress. Mm. Dreading it so much. 
Yeah, but who knows in the future, maybe. Yeah. But I mean, would you would you be directing more of your videos? Are you going to be in charge of the creative process? 100%. Of your... Right. 100%. So this new found love for direction or directing came from a result of, as a result of your... Mm, yeah. And every disappointment is a blessing. <laughs> so... So now you don't open new video director. Oh, I, well, people are calling me to f- for me to shoot that video. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you think something that you consider doing? Well, if I want to make fifteen million next year of video directing, I will. If I take it serious, if I take it seriously, I will. Like aside the fact that my videos are creative, if you're an artist and you announce your video directed by Black Bones, like it's like people are gonna yeah, want to see that video. Yeah. You feel me? Like so, it comes with like. Is PR is is a great video. It's like mm. people are ready to yeah. pay me. Like bro, everybody was messaging me. People were calling for me to shoot their video. You know. But do you think it distracts you from your own music? Exactly. That's why I don't know if I will. Mm-hmm. You know. So I don't know if I'll 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 be shooting other people's videos or I will just you know stick to mine because like music in alone is a lot of stress. You know, adding that to it might just be. You know, but if I I'm yet to decide what I want to do next year, I might just decide to be a video director the whole year. I decide to do something else the whole year. Mm. You know, I'm trying to make my legacy more than just you know, my life. Right. So are we expressing any future collaborations that are going to blow uh, let's our see, minds? Let's see. I hope international I hope, collaborations. I hope to, you know, I hope to have a few of those. Soon. Mm-hmm. So let's see how that works. Okay. So I'm looking forward to more work from you you're an amazing creative thank you so, thank so much you. for coming on my show thank you thank you um, for having me please help us sign out and do uh, us the honors uh, hey guys my name is black bones chemical stallion you know i just sipped the tea with tay and i hope you enjoyed it go stream my album sad to young preacher you know keep it locked